Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining me today with our meditation session. My name is Elizabeth Lupacino, and this meditation session is for the Senior Center in Middletown, Connecticut. So I want to thank you all for joining and, and welcome. So for those of you who may or may not have meditated in the past, you probably hear a lot about it. You know, what is meditation? How do I do it? Is there a certain way I'm supposed to do it? Um, how long am I supposed to meditate? What, you know, what, what's, what's it all about? <laughs> so let me just clear up a few things first as far as meditation. Meditation, my opinion, is that it can be done anytime, anywhere. You don't have to um, be in a certain place. You can meditate in your car. You can meditate not while you're driving. Um, you can meditate in your office. You can meditate at home. You can meditate, uh, of course, in bed or um, in the living room or someplace. But what it is is just when you quiet your mind to become relaxed and you quiet your mind and you become at ease. Meditation if we were just the most wonderful people meditating in the world, maybe we could get ourselves to the point where we have no thoughts. We have no extraneous ideas coming into our head. Well, I don't think we've really gotten to that point yet. So we will have some type of thoughts going through our mind as we're meditating. And that's okay. Because I look at those those strange, not strange, but those extraneous thoughts that come into our mind as we're meditating, as comparing that to like a child. When you're on the phone, of course, you know what's going to happen. That's when your child comes over and starts tugging on your shirt. Mom, mom, dad, dad. And then you look down and you say, what? Nothing. And they run off. You know, it's, it's they just wanted your attention. And that is exactly what these, these words are in meditation. Um, once you acknowledge those thoughts that come into your mind, then that's when they disappear. So, for instance, if you're sitting here and, and you're meditating today and you realize um, all of a sudden you start thinking about your grocery list or you start thinking about what you're going to have to do, um, your, the tires on your car need to be changed, or um, you, didn't, you have laundry to do, or, or anything like that, just, that's okay. Acknowledge them and let them go. Because the more you should yourself, then you're not going to be able to focus on your meditation. So I look at it like, if these words are starting to come into your mind and then you just keep saying, no, 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 I can't, I'm not supposed to be thinking about my grocery list. I'm not supposed to be thinking about going to the store. I'm supposed to be meditating. I'm supposed to be quiet. I'm supposed to just be in this Zen moment. Well, the more you do that, the more those thoughts are going to continue to come into your mind. So acknowledge the thoughts and let them pass through. Now, the only exception that I, I say about that is if you have some kind of thought that is almost like a message that keeps repeating, um, then maybe that's something that you should pay attention to. And I'll give an example. One of my meditation classes years ago, um, when I had been doing this for a while, um, we were talking about the class afterwards, and this woman in, the, in my class said, you know, I kept having this strange thought about my tires on my car. She goes, I don't know. I don't know why. And I said, well, you know what? Maybe you better get your tires checked. Well, she left class. She didn't stop and get her tires checked. She either forgot or just blew it off. The next morning she got in her car and was, was going to work and she got a flat tire that there had been a, um, a stone or a nail or something in her tire. So something like that is more like a message than just extraneous thoughts. So if you have something like that, then that is a yes that you want to, you want to pay attention to. Also, as, as you're meditating, 
um, again, you can be sitting down in a chair, you can be sitting down on the floor, you can be laying in your bed. It doesn't really matter, you know, and, and you don't have to be sitting there, you know, with your hands like this and your legs in that lotus position and then look around for somebody to help you get up off the floor. Um, <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. If you're sitting down in a chair or laying on the floor or laying on your bed, all I ask is that you don't cross your feet or you don't cross your legs or you don't cross your arms or your hands because when you do that, then what happens is you cut off the, um, the energy so that when the energy is flowing through your body, if you're sitting there, let's see, I can get this a little bit better. Okay, it's a little bit better. So if you're sitting there like this with your arms crossed, well, the energy isn't going to be able to flow through your arms. Or if you're sitting there with your hands crossed or your hands like this, again, you're cutting off the, um, the flow of the energy to come, coming into your hands. And the same thing with your legs. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If you start crossing your legs or crossing your ankles, then um, you're going to cut off the energy. So, so you want to be in a comfortable position. You know, if you're sitting in a chair, you don't have to sit there, you know, military ramrod straight, but you don't want to be slouching either for the same reason that you're going to be cutting off the circulation. And, and you know, if, if it has to go like this up your back, it's just a lot smoother if it goes in a straight line and in an easy line. Now, as far as the benefits of meditation, many, 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 many benefits. It has definitely been proven to lower um, blood pressure. So for people who are having blood pressure issues, it's excellent for blood pressure. It's also excellent to help you sleep. Excellent for helping with any kind of anxiety, which of course, now, you know, a lot of us are going through that. So just giving yourself a few minutes a day to meditate is, is wonderful just to, to help escape and to get yourself back in balance. So it's not really like you're escaping the world. You're escaping the effects that the world is having on you. So it's not, you know, it's not escapism. You're still here but it helps you to deal with with what we're dealing with so it helps with sleep helps with anxiety helps with depression it helps with um, blood pressure it helps with anxiety uh, it helps with road rage i've heard a lot of people because they're able to feel themselves more balanced when they get into those possible situations then um, they're a lot more a lot more relaxed and it also helps you to focus it helps you to, to have that clarity of mind and it helps you to focus more on, on anything. If you're doing a sport um, or an art, if you're an artist, drawing, also drawing is a form of meditation. If you're a musician, um, it definitely helps with all of that. Absolutely. So again, thank you for joining me today. And this is a gift that you're giving yourself today so just make sure that if you have your cell phone you know your, your cell phone is off that um, you're not going to have any kind of disruptions that you know the doorbell isn't going to ring your house phone's not going to ring you you fed your your pets so they're not going to bother you um, and if you're living with someone else just say okay go away this is my time. This is my, my gift for me. So congratulations for giving yourself this gift. So let's just take some nice deep breaths. And just exhale. And again, you can meditate with your eyes open or your eyes closed. But if you do meditate with your eyes open, then just look down at the floor or you can even Look at a spot on the ceiling or, or a spot on a wall in front of you or a flower or a plant. Um, or you can even be gazing into a picture that you really, really like. So again, <sighs> nice deep breath and let it go. 
Very, very good. And as you inhale, just feel all the stress and all the tension start to leave your body. And you feel a wonderful light, a warming yellow or gold light, just starting to come in the top of your head. And as you feel that light coming into the top of your head, it's a very warming light. It's a very warming energy. And as you feel it coming in, you feel it warming the areas behind your forehead and relaxing the muscles in your forehead. And you feel it coming down behind your eyes and just giving you peace behind your eyes. As you take in a deep, deep breath, just feel yourself letting go. And feel yourself filling with this wonderful light. And when you inhale, make sure you breathe in through your belly. You know, let your belly expand. You know, when, when we were little kids, or if you look at a baby when they're sleeping, that's how they breathe, is their belly expands. And that's how we should be breathing. You know, we don't want to go like this, because all that does is just tense up our shoulders. You don't want to exhale or inhale from up here. You want it to be from your belly. So just take another deep breath. <sighs> Very good. And again, with your eyes closed, just feel yourself start to relax. Feel that wonderful relaxation come down behind your eyes and into your jaw. And maybe you'll need to wiggle your jaw back and forth a little bit to give yourself some relaxed jaw muscles. A lot of us hold the tension right here in our jaw, so just feel it relax. And if you need to, you know, rub your jaw line a little bit to help it relax and unwind, then go ahead and do that too. And just feel your muscles start to unwind. And you feel that warmth coming down into your throat and into your neck. And you feel the muscles across your chest starting to let go and start to unwind. And you feel them coming down into your abdomen. And down into your hips. Now go back up to your shoulders and feel that wonderful sun, that warmth, that bright warming light coming down into your arms. Coming down into your elbows. Into the wrists. the back of your hands and your fingers you may even want to wiggle your fingers a little bit to make sure that they're not tense now you go down into your legs into the 
top of your legs. And you feel that warmth again coming into the top. And down into your knees. <sighs> down the front of your your shins. On your ankles. And the top of your feet and your toes. And each time you exhale, you feel yourself getting more and more relaxed, more and more at ease. Now go back up to the back of your neck and feel all your muscles relax at the back of your neck. Feel your spine start to let go. And if you're laying on the floor, now you might feel yourself start to sink a little bit more into the support of the floor. And if you're sitting in the chair, you might feel yourself being supported by the chair underneath you. And you just feel yourself getting more and more relaxed. Hmm. And you feel any stress or any tension of the day just starting to let go. And you feel yourself giving yourself the permission to be here today, to be here now, to be relaxing. And as you do, think about what gratitude means to you. What does gratitude mean to you? What does that look like? Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a color? Is it a shape? Is it something a person is it something that you feel is it something that you smell or hear is it a color what does it look like to you What does gratitude look like to you? Is it a word? Is it the word gratitude? Is it something that has a shape to it? What does gratitude look like to you? And so many times when we think about being grateful, what we have in our lives, or we think of gratitude, 
sometimes we think about big things. You know, people that live in an apartment might think, well, I wish I had a house. Or people in a house might start to think, I wish I had a bigger house. But it doesn't have to be the big things. The fact that you're sitting here now is something that you can be grateful for. The fact that you can hear me and see me is something to be grateful for. The fact that you might have been able to write a letter today or read the newspaper or, or a book something to be grateful for you know I've had people come to me and say that they they have a, an ailment or a disease or some kind of physical something going on in their life and they're saying to me how can I be grateful because I have that well, maybe not grateful for what it is even though you may be learning from it it may be teaching you a lesson of something but maybe being grateful for the doctors being grateful for the medication or being grateful for whatever technology there is that's helping you grateful for the people that are around you supporting you during this time and helping so just take the next few moments and whatever gratitude looks like to you whatever being grateful looks like to you have that be have that be your meditation today. So as I stop talking, just take the next few moments and focus on your gratitude and what you have to be grateful for.
Are you ready to take control?
And just allow the sound of that music to completely fade away before you gently and softly open your eyes and come back into the room at your own pace. <sighs> and just feel how wonderful it is to be relaxed. And you might even want to just stretch a little bit and, and maybe bring your arms up over your head and uh, just bring them down to your side and uh, roll your shoulders and move your head a little bit and maybe even tap your feet and move your fingers a little bit. So I want to thank you for joining us today. A uh, wonderful day of meditation. And just enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope this started your day off relaxed or maybe you're watching it in the middle of the afternoon and you need a break, but just make sure that you give yourself some time. And congratulations for giving yourself this gift of a few minutes for yourself. So have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye.